Kunz, our assistant professor of histopathology. And uh, today we are going to cover the topic of uh, developmental abnormalities of male and female reproductive tract. Our learning objectives are to know the main um, uh, female reproductive tract abnormalities, define the common terminologies, and what are the complications associated with them. And similarly, for the male reproductive tract, uh, what are the abnormalities and its complication, uh, like uh, archaidism, orch which is a, one of the common, uh, more common uh, abnormalities in male reproductive tract. Coming to our topic, causes of uh, developmental abnormalities uh, can be broadly classified uh, as the causes uh, which happens during embryogenesis that include uh, chromosomal abnormalities. And these can be acquired during the, even during uh, adulthood, any exposure to drugs uh, of a mother during the fetal life that will also come into account. Reproductive tract, uh, as you know, uh, your knowledge of embryology is mainly formed by malarian system, uh, which is responsible for it, not only reproductive tract, but also for the uh, urinary tract. Uh, uh, parts of urinary tract uh, is also formed by the similar uh, malarian system. First, we are going to cover the abnormalities of female uh, reproductive tract. And we are going to cover these abnormalities uh, according to anatomical regions. And these are will be basically the definitions and uh, complications. First is the vulvar abnormalities. Uh, second is the labial fusion in perforate hymen. Now, vulval atresia means uh, absence of formation of vulva. This can be uh, either partial or complete. Second abnormality is labial fusion. This is uh, most common cause is uh, not, uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, due to the hormonal, excessive hormonal uh, exposure uh, production by the uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. So excess, hormone form, uh, form results in uh, fusion of the labia. Third, uh, uh, I will also like to uh, denote that th because of labial fusion, this can create a uh, gender uh, disparity or you can say uh, gender um, cannot be easily identified uh, either female or female, but it clarifies soon after. After the, um, after some time, this is resolved and diagnosis is made. Imperforate hymen results from persistence of uh, fusion between sinovaginal uh, valves at the vestibule. And another one is vaginal agenesis. Vaginal agenesis is either failed caudal uh, migration of the fused malaria system, and it can be due to incomplete uh, cells uh, resorption of the malarian system. Either of uh, the uh, two can, uh, you can say the, uh, is the cause of vaginal agenesis. But these abnormalities are rare. Imperforate is uh, hymen and labial fusion is, are the two top uh, common vulval abnormalities uh, seen in gynecological uh, practice. Now coming to, after coming to vulval abnormalities, uh, next is the vaginal uh, uh, part of the reproductive uh, tract. And in this, we can see the septate vagina. There's a septum, muscular septum formation between. And this results in two separate uh, uh, cav vaginal cavities. Next is vaginal atresia. This is lack of formation of vagina. Next is the double vagina failure. This happens due to full failure of uh, malaria drug uh, fusion. Next is vaginal septum. This is a uh, 
longitude this septum can be classified based on the uh, alignment uh, in, in the reproductive tract either it can be longitudinal or it can be transverse lying vaginal septum uh, vaginal duplication is also the uh, one of the abnormality so these were the uh, vaginal abnormalities we covered after vulval abnormalities. In this, uh, uh, we are covering uh, briefly because we just have to know the uh, main uh, anatomical uh, 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 description of the abnormalities, how they look like, and what are the complications associated with each. In cervical area of the reproductive tract, cervix can be atresia. They can be double cervix and a single hemi uh, cervix can be there. This is because of uh, 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 this uh, single hemi cervix can result in even uh, uh, increased chances of miscarriages. Now coming to congenital anomalies of the hymen. In perforate hymen, we, I already described earlier. When there is no opening the hymen, this requires uh, surgical correction and is usually diagnosed in newborns or at, near the puberty during the, uh, 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 at the expected uh, time of the first menstrual period. If that doesn't occur, um, the sign and symptoms will be uh, either there will be amenorrhea, primary amenorrhea, or the, if uh, uh, the second can be irregular uh, menstrual period uh, due to blockage. This blockage, if severe, can cause back ache, back pain, abdominal pain. And if uh, distended, uh, can put pressure on the urinary tract and there will be difficulty with urination. The, uh, there's another uh, type of hymenal abnormality, which is microperforate hymen, just... Uh, Similar to that, except for it's very small uh, uh, perforation within the hymen. Septic hymen, when the hymen membrane has extra tissue in the middle, this can cause two small, small vaginal openings as opposed to one. Now we are going to cover the uterine abnormalities after that. These are uh, can be associated with uh, uro, uh, urological defects, as we know that Mullerian system all, not only form reproductive tract but also urinary tract. And it can be associated with certain syndrome, and it can be seen associated with certain auditory defects. We are going to cover main abnormalities uh, one by one, and this uh, you might have uh, covered in uh, gynae or if not, they are uh, going to be covered in uh, uh, gynae lectures as well. Unicornoid uterus. These abnormalities are uh, basically, basically characterized uh, on the shape of the uterus. Unicornoid uterus is a rare genetic condition in which only one half of the uterus is uh, formed. Here you can see only one half of the uterus is formed and uh, it is smaller than the typical uterine a uterus and has only one fallopian tube in this area. This uh, sh uh, shape often results in uterus with one horn or, or single horn. Here is a picture of a unicornuate uterus. The name is also self-explanatory. Unicornuate uterus is associated with uh, infertility endometriosis, increased risk, spontaneous abortion, and uh, preterm delivery, or in uh, rare cases, intrauterine fetal demise. These uh, um, incidents of uh, infertility, endometriosis, and other abnormalities can also be seen in different proportion in other uh, uh, uterine abnormalities as well, which, like in bicornuate uterus. Bicornuate, as the name indicates, bi is a two uh, cornu of the uterus. Is a, here is the picture. 
is a type of malaria in the abdominality in which uterus appear to be heart shaped. If you follow uh, this, there's an indentation, deep indentation, and here this is a heart shape. Bar carnoid uterus have uh, two conjoined uh, cavities. Whereas a typical uterus has only one cavity. Here's one. Uh, the, this is the center of the cavity. This is second cavity. Arcuate uterus is a mild in, uh, variant of this uh, uh, bicornuate, you can say, type of uterus, but there is a less indentation and less deeper indentation. It is one of the malaria duct abnormalities. It's, uh, it is a uterine ab abnormality that is least. Uh, commonly associated with reproductive tract of failure. It has a slight indentation on concave uh, contour towards the fundus. Normally, the uterine cavity is a straight or uh, convex uh, cavity towards the fundus on anterior posterior uh, imaging or radiology. But in our QH uterus, the myometrium of the fundus dips slightly into the cavity and may form a small septation. This condition, um, as I told, uh, told you, is uh, not uh, that significant because the indentation is not uh, deeper. So mostly that much uh, not associated with loss of pregnancy or preterm labor. Uterus diadelphus is a uterine malformation. Another uterine malformation where uterus is placed as present as a beard organ. When the embryonic uh, fusion of the malarian drugs fail to occur, as a result, there is double uterus with two separate cervix and possibly double vagina as well. So you can say this is a two separate uterine cavities and possibly uh, with two separate cervix. Vaginal duplication may or may not be there as well. Here you can see the picture. Complete, no fusion of the cervix or hemi uterine cavity. Both the cavities are separate till here. But in this picture, either you can see the, the vaginal uh, cavity can be single or it can be double. Its complications are um, as expected preterm delivery, fetal growth restriction, and it because less space, the breach delivery can also occur. Now, in the end of the uterine ca uh, cavity abnormalities, I've just briefly uh, given a uh, uh, what they can result in. There is increased chance of miscarriage, ectopic pregnancy, rudimentary horn pregnancy, preterm delivery, fetal growth restriction, abnormal fetal lie, uterine dysfunction or rupture during labor. Here we end the topic of uterine abnormality. We discussed uh, four main abnormalities and there are uh, uh, consequence in this uh, slide. Now there was a drug uh, coming to an extra quick. There was a drug given um, early uh, uh, during early phase uh, of uh, 19th uh, century or 20th century that was called diethyl still bestrol. DES is a short form. It was given in uh, pregnant females to avoid miscarriage, but uh, it after some time, when they follow up the patient, what they discovered there, uh, these patients and their uh, fetuses have increased incidences of uh, clear cell adenocarcinoma. And SIN, complete form is cervical interepithelial neoplasia. This is also a pre malignant condition, vaginal adenosis, and infertility. So, this drug was uh, abandoned. And still, it is reported in literature that it was uh, uh, associated with these uh, dif um, uh, different incidences of cancer. How we diagnose these uh, uterine and cervical uh, abnormalities and uh, vaginal abnormalities, we can uh, uh, do uh, ultrasound, which is uh, common. Or we can inject a dye by history. Uh, that procedure is called hysterios, uh, hysterios self angiography by injecting injecting a dye and uh, saying the tract it is the uh, following. Hysteroscopy is a uh, observation by putting a lens, um, and MRIs can also be used. 
in certain cases laparotomy but that's more invasive procedure but the, uh, these are more more common procedures and these are less uh, invasive as well in a quite reproductive abnormality there can be a bartholin gland when it's obstructed it can form a cyst lined by uh, epithelial lining and it will produce uh, painful uh, cystic swelling uh, so we can diagnose this in cases uh, of uh, cystic uh, swelling in the vulva most of uh, uh, this abnormalities is uh, can be uh, very well treated next is vaginal atresia it's this atresia can also be uh, due, uh, due to embryo, embryo, uh, faulty embryogenesis, or it can be even after the trauma, severe traumas or infections, severe infections. But this is rare. Congenital uterine abnormalities are treated through surgical uh, procedures, laparoscopic procedure, hysteroscopy, which is a open, open hysteroscopy, less invasive surgical procedure. Uh, it can, can also be used to remove polyp tumors by uh, and cauterizing different um, tissues by either by heat, freezing, or chemicals. Now, American AFS is American Fertility Society classification. Uh, this gives uh, the classification based on the uterine and uh, and uh, anatomy. Degree of uterine deformity uh, uh, correlate. Uh, well with the patient prognosis mainly impact uh, is on the pregnancy outcome here's a chart if you want to go through it um, you can you can uh, here's the class one going from uh, class one to class uh, six hyperplasia agenesis unique cornuate diethyl spike cornuate septic arcuate and diethyl is still best for drug related Gonadal dysgenesis uh, dis is one other topic I'm going to briefly go through. is a dis disorder of the sex development in which one or both gonads are underdeveloped. That's called the street gonad. Disorders of sex development uh, are either female or male pseudo have hermaphroditism, or it can be true. Dysgenesis is either pure with normal 46 double X or 46 XY chromosome. So, Gonadal dysgenesis, street gonads can be a uh, uh, cause of uh, um, abnormalities with ambiguous genitalia. That can be pure gonadal dysgenesis or mixed gonadal genesis. In pure, both gonads are streak, while in mixed, one has got tested on one side uh, at, um, and the streak gonad on the other side. Patients with pure gonadal dysgenesis have underdeveloped malarian organs, uh, sometimes with uh, clitoromegaly, while patients with mixed gonadal dysgenesis have ambiguous genitalia. Patients uh, with uh, 46XX, 46XY present with primary anomenorrhea delayed uh, sexual uh, development, and there can be case of uh, typical Turner syndrome in these patients as well. So you. Uh, need to be aware uh, of these. Uh, these are other uh, genetic ab uh, abnormalities which are possible. In these patients, uh, neoplasms are more common in uh, street gonads. So, removal of uh, these gonads is recommended. Neoplasms such as uh, seminomatous uh, germ cell tumors, seminoma, dysseminoma. Uh, non seminomatous germ cell tumor embryonal choreo. We are going to cover this uh, uh, um, um, uh, in uh, testicular tumors as well. So, here I have given the just brief description for them. Here we end the female reproductive uh, tract abnormalities. Now, coming to the uh, male uh, congenital abnormalities of the reproductive tract. The first is hypopadis and epispadis. These uh, abnormalities are classified based on the location of the uh, uh, abnormal openings, either 
on when the surface then it is called a hypopetis and dorsal surface is called epispetis so based on location uh, name is different phimosis is another uh, term orifice of repuse is too small to permu uh, permit its normal retraction or this uh, uh, and the importance lies is in that that this predos, uh, predisposed to accumulation of secretion and secondary inflammation and rarely to carcinomas, uh, which in this case are mostly squamous cell carcinomas. Crypto archaidism is the fourth abnormality, which is a complete or incomplete failure of. Uh, abdominal testis to descend to scrotum. As we know, our knowledge of uh, embryology, the testis are formed in the uh, abdomen and they are under the influence of Mullerian in inhibitory hormone and androgen, they uh, follow the uh, tract and they descend into the uh, scrotum uh, at birth. But if there is any abnormalities related, uh, related to androgens or malaria, malaria inhibitory factor, this can result in failure of descent of the testis. Now, this can be bilateral that both the uh, testis uh, can be absent at birth in the scrotum or it, that happens in 25% of the cases, but it can be unilateral as well. So why is it important to know this? Uh, uh, because... there is greater risk of infertility and sterility. And the second important thing is that these uh, undescended uh, testes is associated, associated with increased risk of uh, malignancies, mostly germ cell tumors, seminomas, and uh, other tumors. So it is important to resect them as uh, early as possible after the certain period of time. And in initial phase, they can descend uh, but that's uh, up to two years after that uh, uh, surgery is recommended. In some cases, if they are detected early, or chidopexy can be performed, uh, placing it, uh, uh, resecting it from abdomen and placing it in the scrotal uh, area. But uh, still, after or chidopexy, patient can uh, have the infertility and sterility com uh, complication. What can we uh, do uh, in histology? How we diagnosis? There, there will be a uh, sorry. There is a spelling mistake. Atrophic changes in the seminiferous tubules, interstitial fibrosis, hyaline uh, connective tissue, and Leydig cells. Leydig cells are the supportive cells in the stroma of the testis. Leydig cell hyperplasia will occur, while the uh, seminiferous tubules are which are source of uh, sperms and sperm are regulators of spermatogenesis are atrophic. Anarchism is con congenital abscess of one or both testes is called anarchia. Here we end. The male reproductive tract anomalies, these were the basic definition. The uh, important thing is that uh, Cryptoarchaidism in a male uh, reproductive tract abnormality. Thank you, everyone. Any questions? Dr. Niyad, can we take uh, questions? Uh,
Here we end our topic of uh, male and female reproductive tract abnormalities. Hello. Uh, and who gave? Okay.